Today, I'm going to share the big reason why I stopped training with the legendary Ido Portal. So picture this, hand balancing, muscle ups, crawling on the ground like a human spider. For me, training with Ido Portal was super fun and different from anything else that I've ever done. But here's the twist. Training with him ended up not fulfilling all of my expectations. So in this video, I reveal the one big reason why I left Ido's orbit and what my decision might mean for you. Now, before we begin, let me clarify that Ido and his training methods are awesome. I love his approach, his creativity, and I still learn from his methods to this day. But when I originally trained with him, I started to realize that something didn't fit for me. Why I left came down to one question. Was I actually building the physical qualities I wanted to be building? For example, when I was training with Ido, I was training 16 hours per week, divided between four areas, bent arm, straight arm, legs, and equilibre, which means balance. My weekly schedule was Monday morning, I did bent arm sessions. In the evening, I did equilibre and mobility. On Tuesday morning, I did legs. Tuesday evening, equilibre and mobility. Wednesday morning, straight arm. Wednesday evening, rest. Thursday a.m., a bent arm session. Thursday p.m., equilibre and mobility. Friday a.m., legs. Friday evening, equilibre and mobility. Saturday, straight arm in the morning, resting in the evening. And Sunday, resting all day. At some point, Ido's focus on certain skills like hand balancing and one arm pull-ups and crawling on the ground stopped aligning with my goals. Those skills aren't bad to develop, they just don't carry over to the things that I wanted to get better at. I wanted to get better at things like sprinting, agility, and explosive movements. I wanted to become a well-rounded athlete who could excel at any sport. And unfortunately, I didn't feel like my Ido Portal training was preparing me for this kind of well-rounded athleticism, which is ironic if you think about it. After all, his method is supposed to be for movement generalists, aka people who want to be good at everything. But regardless, my new routine ended up looking like this. Monday morning, I did sprints, agility, and plyometrics. In the evening, I did lower body power and strength. Tuesday morning, I did steady state cardio, and Tuesday evening, I did upper body strength. Wednesday morning, I went for a walk and did some flexibility and mobility. Wednesday evening, I played frisbee with the crew. Thursday morning, steady state cardio. Thursday evening, upper body strength. Friday morning, sprints, agility, and plyometrics. Friday evening, lower body power and strength. On Saturday morning, I went for a walk and did some flexibility and mobility, and in the evening, I rested, and on Sunday, I also rested. So as you can see, I dropped some of the things that didn't align with my goals. This meant saying bye-bye to hand balancing and lizard crawls and saying hello to sprinting, agility, hiking, and frisbee. Don't get me wrong, Ido's training methods are fantastic for developing strength, mobility, and body control, especially if you wanna do a one-arm handstand or something very different from your typical bodybuilding routine. And for many individuals, this may be the perfect fit. But as my own movement journey evolved, I chose to focus on sport-specific skills that aligned with my favorite activities. Ultimately, the decision to stop training with Ido Portal was easy once I asked myself three important questions. One, what do I enjoy doing most? Two, what do I want to be able to do with my body when I'm 80, 90, or 100? Three, what should I be doing daily to develop those important qualities now? For me, that meant more team sport-like athletic development, sprinting, agility, and plyometrics, and more things that I simply enjoyed doing, like walking in nature and going for a jog or a hike. The bottom line is this. If you have 10 to 15 hours of training time per week, you better make sure you love it and make sure you wanna do it for the rest of your life. So there you have it. The reasons I stopped training with Ido Portal. But what about you? Are you doing the Ido Portal method? Calisthenics, CrossFit, a hybrid approach? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, please let me know.